Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Watch Gun Radio Show Podcast. I am your host, Juan Mendoza. The show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions, sponsored by Marasul Tequila, the new face of tequila. On this week's show, we have special guest, Geneva. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the Macho Gun Radio Live Show. I'm your host, Juan Mendoza. On behalf of my baby, Lila Cervantes, Lila Lisa Promotions, we want to thank you guys so much for being with us here on this Wednesday evening. And, of course, our show is being sponsored by Marisol Tequila, the new face of tequila. And we have an awesome artist all the way from the RGV. And uh, we got a chance to finally meet after so many years at, at a fanfare this past, uh, what, two weeks ago, I think it was, at the Internet Radio Gala. So we have an awesome artist with us here joining us. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Miss Geneva. Geneva, how's it going? Super, super excited to finally have uh, met you. And uh, just uh, excited to connect with your audience once again, and update them on the latest news. And uh, just excited, you know, just to update everybody with what's going on. Yeah, it was good to finally meet uh, everybody over there at the Internet Radio Gala. We met a lot of people brand new that we never met before, but we talked for quite a few years and stuff. With like you, you know, we we talked a couple of years ago, and uh, I think last year we did another interview. And then, of course, at the Internet Radio Gala, we finally got a chance to meet. Uh, did you have a lot of fun over there? Yes, I was finally able to put a lot of space names. Um, Myra B and I, we uh, we just had a great experience of 13 years, you know, working together. And, you know, a lot of these program directors, we had not had, you know, the opportunity to meet in person. You know, sometimes because when we're doing the radio tour, they might be busy, and, you know, so we don't get to see them in person. So we got to finally meet, you know, a lot of you that, you know, we don't get to see person very often and I was just you know honored that you guys took the time to you know go to this event to connect with artists like me that are trying to just you know live their dream and it's wonderful I, I mean I thought it was a very successful event it was just so many different stations there and you know it was just it was beautiful to see us getting an opportunity to connect with you guys one on one in person yeah what well, did you did you get a chance to perform out there that, that past that weekend no, actually, that weekend, uh, I was also there for uh, the Grammy block party. Um, it was uh, you know, it was great because I got to connect with a lot of other recording academy members, you know, that I had never met, you know, introduced myself. It was my first uh, year uh, invited to these uh, to the block party. So I got to meet my mentee this year. This past year, I was selected by the Grammy to be a mentor, which is great because for them to see that I'm contributing, you know, to, you know, to the music industry. And obviously, you know, we're doing things right for them to take, you know, recognition and want to pair me up with somebody who agrees with being a singer like me. And so it's beautiful because I was, I was paired up with a young lady from Mexico City. Um, she goes by the name Agua Tinta. She's an amazing vocalist. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome because, you know, she is going, uh, she's actually the, the, what do you call it? The, what is that word? There's, uh, like, I guess she, she represents, um, the Grammys at her squad, but it's still music. She, there, there's, there's a word for it, but I can't remember what it is right now. But, um, you know, she's got a lot of experience in publishing. So it's kind of like where I was kind of needing help. She was needing help. Like, you know, we were kind of like working together and learning music. Those people, you know, because she's never done like a radio interview or like an interview like this per se with, you know, a radio interview. So uh, she's going to be basically shadowing me and going out to a couple of, you know, radio sources and just see and get a feel of what it's like to be, you know, an artist and, you know, going out and introducing yourself to, you know, the program directors and establishing those relationships that are important. So what does that entail being a mentor? Does that mean that they pair you up with somebody or you just go and meet and greet and just talk about the industry altogether and what, you know, what you can offer to them or what they can offer to you? Basically, you, uh, they shadow you for a whole semester. So for like a quarter, for four months, uh, they team up with you. Uh, you have to have like two in-person meetings, right? And like our first one there at the Grammy. Uh, the Grammy Block Party, so she got to meet me, and she got to see how I went to care for this event. Um, you know, I took a lot of business cards, you know, uh, Spotify, 
and teaching, you know, anything that you can use to market yourself is very important. You know, a lot of artists think that because they release a song, you know, the success is just supposed to come with it. No, you have to go out and promote yourself and get connected, make sure that, you know, your song is getting airplay. And so basically what she does is she teaches, you know, the strategy that I have, you know, like as far as when I release a song, you know, you follow a music video, a radio tour, you know, these are things that they don't teach her in the Berkeley School of Music. There they teach her, you know, uh, recording, you know, like in the studio, um, you know, just different things, not actual on hand with an artist, but that's where I come in. You know, she shadows me, uh, she sees, you know, and tries to learn from me. And and then in exchange, I learn from her where I where I'm acting, which is learning more about the publishing, the things that nobody taught me because as a recording artist sometimes you know, you have a mentor, right, that teaches you and shows you the ropes. Well, I didn't have that. So through all the years, Myra and I, you know, we went knocking on doors and they would shut them. And then, you know, and now that, you know, we've worked hard, you know, just getting our name out there. Well, now we get calls for interviews. We get calls for, you know, our music. And it's beautiful because they're recognizing our art, you know. Uh, back in the days, you know, there was no live shows. Everybody was just they would say you on a on the radio and um that's how you would you would establish your you know your name. And then eventually they started doing like performances and um so I mean I think it's really important for you know if your dream is to be a singer you just have to always be consistent be really seeing new music. I mean you I'm sure you get new music every day. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah. So so when you say that they shadow you for four months, so is that is that continuing right now that she's shadowing you and learning from you, or was it four yeah. months in the past? No, no, no. Uh, this Bernie started about a month and a half ago. So, like for example, uh, in the first week of April, I'm gonna have an, an interview that I'm gonna be doing just like ours, and she's gonna get connected with us, you know, and talk about herself and. You know, just see how, how I do my interviews because everybody interviews different, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing it for so many years. I, I mean, I'm very fluent in Spanish and in English. And, you know, so it's just, um, she just has to observe, you know, how I do my job. And then eventually before the semester is over, you know, it's to try to get into the studio with her so she can see how I record my vocals. Just, you know, just different things that it takes to be, you know, a recording artist, you know. Uh, I'm going to invite her also uh, to, well, we have a couple other meetings with the Grammys, uh, and so we're going to be meeting up there, you know, as well, just, you know, so she can get, you know, anything that she's got questions on, you know, she asks, and then I have a certain time to respond with that, you know, that answer. If I don't know it, you know, I have time to respond. So it's just basically, you know, she gets to just learn how I work or how I um, you know, what I do as an artist to get my name out there, and, you know, what strategies I do or what I have or, you know, and so that's, that's pretty much, I mean, I, I wish I would have had that, you know, it would have yeah. been easier, you know, like to, you know, to have had somebody like, you know, take me by the hand and help me. And I mean, I just, I'm, I'm glad that I was chosen to do that. Yeah. So what happens after these four months? Uh, do you go back and reconnect again or do you go ahead and let her, uh, let her go free and, you know, or do you guys stay connected? Oh, no, but this is, well, this is my first time. This is my first year chosen. So, um, I mean, I guess I won't, I guess maybe we can do that for the next interview because I don't know yet, but <laughs> I mean, I mean, you stay in touch. I mean, I, I mean, you become friends, you know, I'm, I, I, I look forward to seeing her growth. And like I said, you know, God blesses me with bigger opportunities. I mean, whoever it is that, you know, that I feel um, I can help. I mean, I, I, you know me, I've always been open to help. I mean, I put together the biggest collaboration in Tejano, you know, Tejano history, you know, uniting 25 women about Tejana. So, I mean, I think that speaks volumes of, you know, of my character and my want to, help the upcoming generation because mm. I mean I'm 40 years old you know I me quedan unos cuantos años buenos you know I just had so many things that have happened in my life that have kept me from really taking off full force but right now you know God has blessed me with amazing opportunities and I'm ready to see what you know where he wants me and what he wants me to continue to do because he's he's the the center of everything I do and I'm sure 
I mean, I, I speak of this all the time that without him, I wouldn't be here before you, you know, bless you the opportunity to connect with your audience, you know, and, and yeah. again, I'm so grateful for, you know, for all the support you guys have given me. Um, I know I've been kind of in and out of the scene, you know, here and there, but, you know, I've, I've just had so many tragedies that have happened, but here I stand before you, you know, a warrior and a phoenix, you know, that rose from the ashes and is ready to live her dreams and, um, I'm here to help anybody that I can. And yeah. um, I'm just excited for, you know, this song, Como Te Voy a Olvidar, uh, the production was done 15 years ago. And I mean, I have new music that I could have released, but I just felt that it was important for, you know, the listeners to get to know a side of Geneva that they seem to think there never was. You know, I've always been... Um, you know, my cumbias, my music has always, you know, been a little bit more modern, you know. I work with a lot of producers from Mexico that have different sounds than the producers from here, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why my music has always sounded a little different. But back 15 years ago, uh, when I when we recorded my first album of Mi Droga Mi Adicción, that album, you know, had this song, Como Te Voy a Olvidar, and it had four songs that were written by Geneva. And um, unfortunately, the owner of the record label at the time, um, you know, was diagnosed with cancer. So my project was put on a shelf and, you know, nothing was done with it, but one release. So when we were doing our radio tour in, Mex in, in Mexico, Myra and I were listening to the album. And when we heard Como Te Voy a Olvidar, I mean, we were just like, wow, like, this is the, tr like, you know, the, this is the Tejano from 20 years ago that nobody ever got to hear from Geneva. No. And I just wanted to, you know, this song symbolized so much in my life during a, a breakup that I had with my now husband, right, of, of, of going on 29 years. And so if you see the cover and you see, you know, how it's like red and dark and, you know, I used to have this light bulb in my living room that was red. And so in one of our breakups, um, I would sit there in the living room literally with the light playing you know, hoping that he would come back looking for me, you know? Yeah. And so, I mean, eventually we ended up getting back together. But this song, you know, I remember driving in my convertible and it came on one day on this cassette that I had. And it was exactly how I felt at that moment that I missed him and that I was telling myself, well, how am I going to forget him? You know, like, God help me, you know? And was, like I said, we ended up back together. But at the time, it just felt like a song that gave me a lot of healing, you know? So... I go into the studio and record my first album. I knew that I had to record it, you know, because I knew there was going to be somebody else out there that was going through the same thing that I was going through, you know, and I said, and this song is going to be perfect for them. And so we went back into the studio. We redid some of the back of vocals and I didn't want to really, I didn't want to change too much. I just changed maybe like one or two little things on, on one of the verses, but I wanted there to be, you know, for them to hear Geneva from, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I could hear my vocals from then because if not, what was I going to have left for anybody to hear? You yeah. get me? I don't release it. And if I don't show people a, a different side of Geneva, a different side of, you know, of, 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 of the sound that, you know, that I had at the time, then they would never know it, you know? And so uh, we made the decision of doing, I guess we consider it like a vault release. And eventually maybe next year, they're going to release a couple more that were written by me. And uh, for now, this is, you know, something I wanted to share with the listeners, you know, and uh, for them to get to know like, a different side of me, a different side of, of, of you know, a different side of the Yeah. So well, you're saying that you wrote this so long ago and recorded it. Is it the, your, your original vocals from then or did you re redo everything completely? Uh, the Como Te Voy a Olvidar, I only redid the harmony. So it has your original voice then? Yeah. Nice. So if you listen, I mean, it's still powerful, but you can hear a little bit more youth in my voice. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can hear now my voice um, has gotten a little bit more like raspier. You know, a few years ago, I, I had a really bad cough that lasted me two years, two years, I'm sorry, two months. And, uh, and I know that I damaged some of my vocal cords because now there's certain notes that when I hit them, you can kind of hear like a, like a little tear, like a laceration in my cord. And so when I tried going in there and redoing the, the vocal, I was like, whoa, like it was kind of <laughs> tough, yeah, you know? So yeah. uh, 
I was like, you know what? No, I thought about it and I said, there's nothing wrong with the vocal. Like it, to me, it, it was perfect. It, 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 you know, we captured something beautiful. And I said, you know what? I don't really want to want to change it. Um, you know, and so we kept the original vocal. Uh, we redid the backup vocals. And I think we added, uh, I don't know, we added like one instrumental. I don't remember if it's like a, like a chime or something. We added one more thing and we remixed and mastered it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it, it turned out beautifully, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out very, very well. I didn't know that you had recorded this a while back and stuff. But um, we're going to go ahead and play one of your videos, though. Um, this one, of course, was done, I think, a couple years ago already now. And this one is called uh, Como Te Atreves. It was, a, it was an awesome video. And uh, you had recorded it. It looked like in a, a, like a, how would you call it? More like an art yeah. studio type of thing. So yeah. it turned out. You can back in the video, I'll tell you a story about that. <laughs> okay. All right. So everybody, we're going to go ahead and check this out. When we come back, we have Miss Geneva joining us. And uh, this video right here is called Como Te Atreves. We're here on the Mastrigo Radio Show. ¿Cómo te atreves? A decirme que me quieres si es mentira ¿Cómo te atreves a mirarme fijamente Y asegurarme que es mentira lo que dice tanta gente? ¿Cómo te atreves a lastimarme el corazón de esta manera? ¿Por qué no piensas un poquito y te arrepientes De lastimarme, de engañarme, por favor, comprende Compartido. Si yo te entregué mi vida y no quieres más mi amor, vete por favor, vete ya, vete con ella, con quien quieras mientras yo voy a buscar una manera de olvidar, voy a sacarte de mi historia, buraré.
All right, that was uh, Como Te Atreves by Miss Geneva here. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave them in the comments there. Um, also wanted to announce that uh, we have a brand new program, and uh, hopefully all the Tejanos join it because it is called Tejano TV, which is a brand new system, a brand new program that we're going to be having out there. So you guys can see right here on the screen. It's called Tejano TV. It's a brand new streaming service. It's going to be 24 hours of videos. If you guys remember MTV the way they used to be before they got all uh, nothing but shows on their reality shows and stuff, you used to have 24 hours of music videos. So that's the program that we started, which is live right now. It's only on the, available on the website. But we're looking for sponsors and advertisers to uh, get this thing to Roku and Fire Stick. So like I said, there's going to be 24-7 of music videos. We are going to have interview programs, countdown programs, uh, other shows, podcast shows that that you guys see on uh, on social media, on Facebook. We're going to try to get together with some of those uh, podcasters, I guess you call them, to see if they want to, if they're interested in having their shows on our program. So it's going to be a new venture out there. So it's going to be 24-7. It's going to be live streamed. It's not, it's not going to be on demand or anything like that. We have enough mm -hmm. on demand with like YouTube and stuff where you can watch a video whenever you want. So you guys can turn on the program and just sit there and relax and video, come after video after video and Watch it even till four o'clock in the morning. So make sure you guys check out the Hano TV. We do have the link up there and uh, we do have the Facebook page. So make sure you guys follow it on uh, Facebook, on social media. Uh, Geneva, thank you uh, for being with us here. It's an awesome video. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah. And I also, you know, just want to mention really quick, um, you know, for any, you know, I'm very passionate about mental illness. You know, I'm a suicide survivor. So you know, I just wanted to let, you know, not only my music, the brothers and sisters know, but anybody, you know, in the music industry that there's help out there, musiccares.org uh, is, a, is an, uh, a place where you, uh, as a musician, can apply for assistance. You know, if you're going through addiction, depression, you know, financial struggles, uh, you can just go to musiccares.org and you can apply. You, you just have, you know, of course, there's questions you have to ask, but if, you know, you're, you know, you've lost work as a musician because of COVID or, you know, there just isn't any work and you're in the middle of, you know, losing your house or your car or your, you know, your apartment, um, you can apply for help. Um, you know, I, I look forward to, to joining forces with uh, the Grammys and Music Cares and just know that there's help out there. You know, you're not alone. Uh, you know, help is just a call away. So I invite everybody that, you know, is going through any struggles to, to look into it. And if anybody, you know, any musician, uh, is interested in becoming a Grammy member, you know, I'm here to help and whatever I can to get you, uh, you know, more involved because what happens is if people don't submit their work, one, we're going to lose our category in the Grammy. So it's very important. You know, it's it's not as hard as people might think to become a member. Yes, there's re requirements, but, you know, there's time to meet them. You know, you won't be eligible until next year uh, mm -hmm. to become an Academy member, but that gives you time. You, you know, it's got... You have to have a certain amount of music on digital platforms and everything, but it's not impossible. So if you're interested in becoming a Recording Academy member to be able to submit to the Latin and American Grammys, just inbox me and I'll get you all the details. And if you want to book me, you can, you can call Myra D at 956-367-7818 or you can shoot us an email at discosdondedios at gmail.com and I'm available on all digital platforms Social media, I'm under Geneva, that's G-E-N-Y-V-A. And again, Juan, thank you and your lovely wife for all your support. You know, I'm truly blessed and I'm, I'm just honored that, you know, you took a little bit of your time to connect with me and let me introduce my new single, Como Te Voy a Olvidar, you know, to your audience. And again, thank you guys so much. God bless no, you guys. Yeah. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm just an inbox away. No, no problem. Thank you. Um, real quick, speaking of the, the Grammy things, I know it's not only for artists. I know uh, they have managers, they have uh, record producers, all kinds of people that can actually join. And uh, it was brought to my attention. Somebody asked me, "Are you, have you thought about joining? Um, I did. I thought about it, you know, because we are doing so much. We you know we are record, um, not record. Uh, we are radio station owners uh, now with the TV program thing. So now that makes us, I guess, TV station owner, I guess, part of it. Um, you know, so we were thinking about it, but I guess you have to nominate somebody, I guess that's the process or, you know, you have to have somebody vouch for you for your work and stuff. Yeah, you, you have to get two letters of recommendation 
Um, but I mean, there's so many, uh, you know, recording academy members in Texas, a lot of people that you probably know, like myself, you know, there's a lot of, you know, people that are part of the recording academy. So that's definitely something that we can all, you know, work together on, on helping each other, you know, get and just, you know, if you all are interested, let me find out exactly what the requirements are for your type of industry. And I'll definitely get back with you on that. So that way we can try to get you into the 2024 class. Yeah. Uh, for 20, it's already too late. The deadline uh, was a few weeks ago. But I mean, the Latin Recording Academy, to be, to be a recording, uh, 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 sorry, a voting member, uh, you just have to pay like a yearly, a yearly fee. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll get all that information for you for sure. And uh, I'll let you know tomorrow. So that way we can start working on, on getting those letters of recommendation for you. They don't have to necessarily be Recording Academy members. They can, it could be one letter from a Recording Academy member and then a letter from another musician that as long as he's been in the industry within the last five years, they can, mm-hmm. they can work. So for nice. sure, we'll work you guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, think, I think it'll be pretty cool. You know, we love to help the industry and especially when it comes to stuff like the Grammys, you know, which is the biggest thing in music ever. So, you know, we need, we definitely need to keep our names out there, you know, for Tejano music and stuff. So yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. I appreciate any help I can get out there. So, um, I mean, wait, you, you said you had a, for, we're shooting for Grammys for Billboard, <laughs> Premio you know, for we're shooting, we're shooting big, you know, the sky's yeah. the limit. Nice. Yeah. Um, you said you had a story about the video. Oh yeah. I would say, <laughs> that, you know, that, you know, that music video was supposed to be filmed somewhere completely different. We were going to film it outdoors, um, at this, uh, it's like, um, it's like a trail like a, where they have like butterflies and all these different trails, but it rained the day before. And so I was, I had to completely change my wardrobe because I was like, it's going to be muddy. Well, I went to this, um, this vintage store. Right. And I, I was trying to find a different outfit. And when I asked to use the restroom, I walked back into this warehouse and it just seemed like God had put me there. Like everything was already positioned perfect, perfectly for the music video. And when I walked back there, I was just like, oh, my God, like, this is where I need to shoot my video. I didn't even know the lady, nothing. And I just, I went up to her and I said, look, ma'am, I know that this is kind of like, you know, soon. And, you know, I just, I have a a situation. I said, tomorrow I'm supposed to film a music video. And I said, and the location where I wanted to shoot is rained out. And I think your place is perfect. Like, would you let me? And she's like, yeah, what time? And I was just like, thank you, God. (laughs) day we went and like if you look at if you pay attention to the video when it starts right i'm sitting in a chair and mm-hmm. it was a same shot like i literally got up and ran in my tacones to sit on the chair and then i'm sitting there like ya no quiero más. like as if i i didn't just run 100 miles an hour to the chair like it was literally shot in a single shot like yeah. you know it was so cool. you know i love you know shout out to ryan basan for filming that music video you know he's done amazing work you know and i'm i'm I always look forward to working with him because he just, he gets me. You know, I like to write all my storylines. If you see all my music videos, you know, I'm, I basically, you know, write all the storylines. I direct it, you know, so if any of you musicians also ever need, you know, you want a pretty cool video, then also inbox me. I'm here to help in whatever, whatever you need. Nice. Yeah. yeah Ryan, Ryan Pisani does awesome work. Uh, I've worked with him before and uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, I was a guest on one, uh, like a cameo shot or whatever a music video, but he, he does awesome work and the video came out like perfect, you know, professional and he is, he is a professional. So we'll put it that way, but it did come out really, really great. All the videos that he directs for other artists, you know, they do come out great. So a big yeah. shout out to Ryan Bazan. As I believe me and Sarah Monique were like, I think two of the first that he recorded in, in, in Tejano. Hmm. And so we've been, him ever since you know after that everybody started using him and even now even regional mexican artists you know are are hiring so it's amazing you know he 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 does really really great work and 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 recently uh, i was introduced to valdemar garcia another great videographer from the rio grande valley he shot my latest video and um, i think it turned out pretty pretty well as well um i was able to feature my family there my husband and my daughter so it was nice, you know, that was, Entre Sus Brazos was my love story. You know, I wrote that song at 17, and I recorded it 27 years later, and it became my number one song. So, nice. um, 
and we do and we do have that we do have that video queued up here so we're gonna actually play it for everybody here in just a few minutes um but now with the with the new single that you do have out i was a little er ill prepared so i didn't actually have a chance to load the new single up hopefully we can do it in another interview later on down the line but um yeah. so now with the new single out what what are you what are you working on well right now we are um we're working on a production we're going to be doing a live show uh, we're going to be filming here, uh, I think it's like the second week of May. Uh, so basically now, you know, we're going to have content for, you know, the venues, the festivals to be able to see our show, our full show. Um, I mean, of course, how are they going to want to hire me if they haven't seen me perform in a while live, you yeah. know, with my own. And so we wanted to do that, of course, to have content, you know, to be able to, you know, just have, you know, videos to be able to put up. But more than anything, just to show to be able to email them, you know, that way they can see what we have to offer. You know, it's 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 gonna be, you know, it's it's a lot of work because you know it's a whole production. You know, we have to get, you know, a light show. We have to get, you know, of course, video. Um, you know, make sure we sync all the videos with, you know, with our sh with our show. And so I want I want like what they're gonna see in this video is what they're gonna get live if they hire us. You know, nice. so everything that you know that it's uh that's going to be included in there is going to be what they'll have at their show. So um, right now we, you know, we're also working on some shows in, in Monterrey. I'm going to be going up there for a radio tour within the next couple of weeks. And uh, I was up there last year, you know, I did, what was it like 52 interviews within a week, wow. you know, we did TV and radio. Yeah. And so it was amazing. You know, once you're accepted into Mexico, you know, it, 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 it's, um, it gets easier from there because the thing is getting in there, you know, that's the hard, you know, luckily last year I finally was able to get my dual citizenship. So soy Mexicana, Americana, you know, my nice. dad was, my dad was born in Mexico. And so it was exciting because that same week that I went on the radio tour is when I finally received, you know, my dual citizenship. And so it was cool because, you know, it's not just this girl coming from Texas going into Mexico. That's not Mexican. You know what I mean? So Mexicana yeah. was just like a whole different, you know, like it's like if I was like I was received with open arms and it was beautiful because I'm representing our genre, you know, in Mexico. And uh, we have a couple of shows that are going to be coming up like in September and in October. So y'all be hearing about that. But I'm just excited because my band is over there and I miss all the guys. And it's pretty cool, like to, um, you know, just know that I have shows coming up. You know, this year it's not about the quantity of shows. It's about the quality that we're going to be putting out there. And so, I mean, I'm just excited, you know, to see what God has in store and to be back on stage, you know, um, and I miss it. You know, I miss I miss being in the front, you know, just seeing the people's faces, you know, some cry and some smiling. And it's just, it's beautiful. I miss being in the front and, and enjoying that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Are you still working with, uh, with Joe Lopez? No, actually, uh, last uh, the last show that was that was my last show with them. You know, I I gave them a year. You know, it was an, an amazing year, and I wish them nothing but the best. And you know, these are my brothers. You know, mm -hmm. and it was a beautiful experience. You know, I paid for that opportunity 28 years ago, and God gave it to me. And so, um, I just thought, you know, it's time to to move on. And I'm I mean, I wish them nothing but the best. But I'm excited to see what God has in store for Geneva. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right. Well, before we end the show here in a little bit, uh, we want to go ahead and play this other video, which was uh, your more recent one, and this one was called "Entre Entre Tus Brazos." And of course, if you guys see all the all the family, the kids, and her husband is in the actual video as well, so make sure you guys enjoy this one. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have it right here. Entre tus brazos. And my man, my R's are bad. Entre <laughs> tus brazos. <laughs> I can never get my R's correctly. Uh, Geneva, <laughs> right here on the Machu Radio Show. Hola mi amor, no quise despertarte, pero te dejo este mensaje para decirte que te amo. Feliz aniversario y tengo un día muy especial programado para ti. Así es que te espero en nuestro lugar favorito y oprime este link que es un regalo muy especial que te dedico con mucho amor porque quiero pasar toda mi vida entre tus brazos. Chili 
Viva. video right there uh entre tus brazos miss geneva and just to let you guys know that both of her videos uh como te atreves and entre tus brazos are now streaming on tahano tv so make sure you guys go check it out uh we do have the link on our facebook page so you guys can check it out it does stream 24 7 and the good thing about that is the artists do get credit every time it gets played so that's the cool thing about that program so it's always important that the artists get their due credit uh, while they're sh streaming or anybody streams it live on the radio station. It's always important that the artists do get credit for it. So that's a good thing. So every time you see a Geneva video, she gets credited for it. So that's an awesome thing. So uh, like I said, great video. Uh, was was that in your backyard? No, I wish. No, that was, that was a, a <laughs> loop in Edinburgh, Texas. <laughs> Yeah, that's my uh my husband's boss's backyard. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> nice. And I was like, dang, they got a big old house and big old yard, and I think he's got a pool and great sight over over the grass and everything else over the yard. And I was like, man, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they people have like weddings and quinceañeras, and they also have like a hunting um uh, uh like people get to go and hunt there and stuff. So it's really really nice. It's beautiful. It's outside the city of Edinburgh, so. It's beautiful beautiful place nice well i want to thank you so much for for joining us here today um sorry i was a little bit <laughs> a little bit uh unprepared for this but uh i managed to get it and we got it good um but everybody enjoy it as it's on youtube it'll be available on spotify and it'll also be available on tahano tv throughout the week next week along with our the show that's coming up here in just a little while we're gonna have the three amigos show myself D. Burleson, Marcus Daniels. Special guest will be Tony Guerrero de la Sombra. So make sure you guys stick around for that. It'll be in just a little while. 
But uh, Geneva, if anybody wants to get a hold of you for an event, where can they get a hold of you at? They can call Myra D at 956-367-7818. Saludos a la baby doll, Ms. Myra D. Um, and then uh, they could either call her or they can email us at discosdondevios at gmail. Or they can uh, message us. Uh, we have uh, Instagram, La Voz del Valle, Geneva. TikTok, I'm under Geneva Salas. And Facebook, I'm under Geneva, G E N. YVA. Y un saludo a todos mis amigos que no hablan inglés, discúlpame, uh, que, no, que no hablamos un poquito más de español, pero los invito a que escuchen mi nuevo sencillo aquí con mis amigos de Más Chingón Radio, el uh, nuevo sencillo Cómo te atreves, y también estará muy disponible, pronto muy disponible eh, el video, estaré, está disponible en, en YouTube, pero ahí hay mucha música en todas las plataformas, los invito a que, a que me apoyen, que sigan mis páginas, y pueden llamar al 956-367-7818 si acaso quieren ocupar a Geneva y Grupo Adicción. There you go. And uh, also her new single is streaming on MasChingonRadio.com. And also you can vote for it on our Top 20 Countdown, which is also on the website there. And when her new video does drop, we'll have the video on our Top 10 Music Video Countdown, which you can also see on Tejano TV. Uh, let's get maybe to some... Juan, maybe a little piece, right? You want me to sing a little tiny piece? Say it again. Did you want me to sing them a little piece of Como Te Voy a Olvidar? <laughs> yeah, sure, right before we leave. Uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and get to some uh, shout outs real quick. Uh, Miss Josie Zamora, she said, beautiful song. Thank you. Uh, she also said, good evening. And uh, she also said she's ready for Tony Guerrero. That's going to be on another video. So you have to keep track of uh, on her Facebook page. Uh, yeah, right before we leave, if you want to go ahead and uh, give us a little uh, snippet of the, of the single. Right before, right before I leave, if you want to go ahead and give us a little snippet of the song. Oh, you wanted it? Oh, I thought you were looking at more of the things. <laughs> I was like, is you waiting for me or am I, are we waiting to see another message? Let's see. I guess we'll do a little piece. Um, Me duele tanto tener que deshacer todos tus planes y hacer inspiración de mis canciones mi vida, mi alma ya la esencia de mi ser como te voy a olvidar como querer escapar si a donde vayas tú tú eres mis noches de luz como te voy a olvidar como querer escapar si estás prensado a mi pie si eres todo mi querer awesome <laughs> awesome the there you go make sure you guys stream it make sure it's on uh, all these little platforms and make sure you guys vote for it on matching on radio's top 20 countdown geneva thank you so much for being with us here we really appreciate your time so much god bless you same to you so ladies and gentlemen it'll be available on youtube it'll be available on spotify you guys can replay this interview here and of course uh throughout the week next week it'll be streaming on tahano tv so make sure you guys check out our brand new facebook page tahano tv and you can see our top 10 music video countdown our interviews and of course the three amigos show geneva pleasure thank you so much for being with us here bye all right Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Mastrigo Radio Show. And of course, that was Miss Geneva. So we'll see you next time.